So what's up, people? This is Robert Bassano. Just wanted to say what's up. Well, hello. Hope everybody out there is uh, doing okay. Moving along, staying safe. Um, it's going to be a brief one. Uh, I'm not going to make it probably more than 15 minutes. But I want to give you guys a little uh, teaser, test run on something that I've been looking into for quite some time regarding CERN and adaptive optics and laser technology and other types of uh, advanced high performance computing and supercomputing technologies that uh, I've been thoroughly immersed in for the past decade, working on an artificial intelligence application uh, for black body, black body radiation detection. And the title of this one is, Could CERN Have This Capability? Um, I do believe art does imitate life. There are movies that are out there that are really disclosure films rather than quote unquote science fiction. Um, but I'm gonna show you a brief clip that uh, will give you about a six minute, about a six minute, 20 second idea of what uh, of a capability CERN may have. And then I'm gonna show you uh, two websites uh, that discuss specific types of uh, technologies. I've known about these for probably about a decade, and I used one of the platforms. It was pretty interesting when it first started out, but they've actually somehow got a mysterious jump in technological capability, um, where now they can do real-time threat intelligence, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to do a share screen, this one's going to be private. I'm doing it all by myself. And what we're going to go through right now is I'm going to play video from a movie. Okay. The movie is called Deja Vu. Just watch. Listen to what they say. Very important. Oh, she's not going to be mad. Come on. What does she say by now? It's never too late. It's never too late, sweetie. Just pray that you will be in a good day, right? How about this? You pray for David. I'll surveillance Paul. it's not electronic thermal imaging you guys figured out a way to look into the past yes or no no you're lying you're lying I and told you know you everything it. I she can. saw it Paul. I pointed this thing at her just now and she responded to it from four and a half days ago explain that to me somebody explain it hit it Shannon for three years Cambridge has been working for national reconnaissance on an R&D grant okay we were attempting to use concentrated bursts of energy to enhance the sensitivity of optical telescopes. In the process, we had a breakthrough. Given enough energy, we could warp the very fabric of space. I said, explain it to me, not talk science. No. All right, I'll tell you what. Why don't you guys just keep talking? I'll just sit here until you figure out what it is you really want to tell me. found a way to fold space back onto itself. All right, look. Uh, we're used to viewing space as flat, right? Like this piece of paper. To see something from a distance, flat has always had to travel a long way across the flat space in between. But given what I was trying to explain, we could fold the space, bring the target closer to us, create what's known as an Einstein-Rosen bridge, otherwise known as a wormhole, suspend it via gravitational field. That's what we're looking at. That's it. What's on the other end of the bridge? Claire's house. <laughs> Basically, the folding space in a higher dimension to create an instantaneous link between two distant points. Instantaneous. Well, that's what we hoped for, and that's what we expected. I, but the electrical force, we used huge amounts of energy to create this bridge. All right, how huge? 
I remember that little blackout we had a few years back. Yes, yeah, in Canada, right? Canada, right. Like Michigan, half the Northeast. You're saying you guys, 50 million homes, right? How bad? Well, I still say we win Canada, but okay. So why can't I see this bridge? <clears throat> it's not visible for the human eye. I mean, it's it's real though. It's just as real and just as solid as a cell phone signal or a radio wave. Right. Well, I don't know how a cell phone works. I just know how to use it. So how do we use this? We can look back four and a half days. And what? We can look anywhere. Limited radius. Right, 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 right. Looking into the past. In a sense, we're always looking in the past. Even light reflected uh, from yourself in the mirror takes some time to reflect back. Let me get this straight. You're trying to tell me that on the other side of this bridge is the actual past. Yes. Yeah. But look, 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 look. We created this thing by pure accident. All right. This, this, this space and time, this, this time window, is a complete fluke. All right, and, and, and everybody is terrified of screwing with it for fear of losing it or suffering the consequences of God knows what, which is why it can only be used as a retroactive tool. Hey, let me ask you something. Is she alive or is she dead? You went to her funeral, I know that, but I think the question still applies. Is she alive or is she dead? All right, life, like time and space, is not merely a local phenomenon. All right! Am I asking a hard question? It's going to pick the bad week to stop snorting hash. All right, I tell you what, I'll speak slow so those of you with PhDs in the room can understand. It, here, look, here's a monitor, right? <laughs> now, the monitor is broken. It's dead. It has not temporarily transitioned to another state of entropy. It's dead, right? Now, is she alive or is she dead? She's alive. All right, now we're getting somewhere. All right, now you said light could go back. What else? Nothing. Something else could be sent back. Come on, Paul. Something, what, a body, a human being? No, not a person, not alive anyway. Why not? Because you can't beat the physics. The electromagnetic field, you, look, you, you transition across what's known as the Wheeler boundary, all right? An EM pulse annihilates all electrical activity. That's your heartbeat, that's brain waves, that's everything. So what, you, you haven't tried a person? Right, let's just say that we've done enough tests to know that it's not even possible it's not even theoretically possible like the hamster goes back dead a drosophila fly dead what about a radio signal what about that is radio, radio signal yeah radio, radio signal won't work it electrical. Scramble it. all right then a note a, 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 no. a warning note a single piece of paper one sheet no if we keep the mass low no this could work it could work sure we know where the guy's gonna be we can apprehend him and put him away before he even pulls up and how do we do that exactly we send it to ourselves send it to me yeah send it to me send it to my office send it to my office four and a half days ago an anonymous tip and we can capture this guy before he even meets Claire. We know he's going to be at the dock. Whatever you did, you did it already. Whether you send this note or you don't send this note, it doesn't matter. You cannot change the past. It's, it's physically impossible. What if it's more than physics? Okay. Something spiritual. Right? Yeah, something spiritual. Okay, okay, okay. Look, just try to think of it this way. God's mind is made up about this. All right? I mean, you know, call it fate, call it destiny, whatever. But it already happened. It will keep happening, and it always will happen. Maybe. And why do we call this faith since we're calling it something? Maybe. Maybe you're right. Maybe you guys are exactly right. I don't know. All I know is this. For all of my career, I've been trying to catch people after they do something horrible. For once in my life, I'd like to catch somebody before they do something horrible. All right? Yeah, you understand that? Okay. So you all heard that. And the next thing I want to show you happens to be some information about a company called Recorded Future. Okay? Out innovate your adversaries with real time threat intelligence. Now, this is an Incutel funded company. For those who are not familiar with who Incutel is, Incutel, okay, is the technology investment arm with the CIA, all right? So that's in detail. We'll go back to that in a second. Now, myself, John, Robert Shortman, Marcus, Mark Diesel, Luke, we've all been discussing a lot of physics and scientific method for, I'd say, a couple of weeks now. And everything is starting to look like it's coming together. I don't mean coming together as in, you know, we have the solution to this mosaic of information we're putting together. I'm saying that it's coming together as in there are things that we've compartmented that we are now developing a better understanding of how 
how this world is actually functioning and how it's functioning and when and where and why. Um, as we continue to collect information and go through the data, that specific clip pretty much puts together about everything that we've talked about with regard to physics. Now, this company recorded future. I'm going to go through brief here what it is they do. All right, you guys can all go to this yourselves. They talk about products, threat intelligence teams, identify and mitigate critical threats and vulnerabilities or real-time threats. Uh, I don't want an assessment. This is just some of the services they offer. Products, security operations teams need to reduce time spent on false positives. Recorded futures with analytic support, dark web, executive cyber protection, web intelligence engine. Okay. This platform, you know, um, it's amazing. That's all I gotta say. But it can only happen, okay, through the use of a particular computer, okay? And I'm going to show you the, plat the portfolio for Inkytel and who they fund, who they have funded. And here is a list of all the companies that they have funded, okay? You can just take a look at the names of some of these groups. All right. API Advanced Photonics, Adaptix, Turning Ink into Action. Uh, you're going to see Black Bag Technologies, Cloudera, D Wave. NASA Ames Research and Google have four of these. SciFace. You can see. Evolved Technology, Digital Reasoning, Fuel 3D, Go Low. I'm not going to go through every one of these companies. You can go to their website and look at it for yourself. But uh, Planetier, Planetier provides all the software for Facebook. Facial recognition of every photo you've ever uploaded. They conduct worldwide, real-time, big data link analysis to every person connected to you and every person connected to them and so on and so forth. It's, they use a, what's called a six degrees of separation algorithm uh, program where it's basic, basic understanding that we are all separated by at least six people. So Recorded Future is one of the companies they funded. All right. So if you've ever heard of any of these companies and you know what they do, I can tell you quite a bit about who these companies actually provide a lot of their services and products to. Um, but all of this is happening in the high performance computing and supercomputer computer realm. And I think I have the data to reveal the proof that CERN really does have that capability to look into the past and I wouldn't say warp time and space, but I think that they might be able to look forward. This is Black Bag. Reveal the truth. Black Bag ex exists to find solutions for challenging data retrieval, thereby empowering our customers to seek, reveal, and preserve the truth. Okay? Black Bag Technologies. So, and this is who their clients are. All of this is happening in supercomputers. All of it. All of it. Okay. So, with that said, people, I told you this was going to be a short one. And I'll be putting together a nice little show whereby we're going to discuss some of the technologies that CERN possesses and what they're really doing there, 
how they're doing it and maybe provide some of you with sort of a strategic advantage of maybe 36 hours advanced warning, right? Of specific types of events you could identify to provide you with a 36 hour outcome of 90% accuracy or better. So we're gonna talk about that because adaptive optics and laser technology, um, electromagnetic wave propagation, they all play a role in what we were discussing. And the, and the quantum, the, the quantum eraser double slit experiment, that also plays a role in what we have been discussing, including the double slit experiment. So um, they put everything out in plain sight, people, plain sight. So just want to give you guys a little teaser, a little taste of what is to come. That may not be the next show, but I am working on it. Got to go through a little bit more of the data, but um, at least those of you who hear and see this video, you've got something to share amongst yourself and talk about. And if you have any other data or any subject matter knowledge on what you've just seen, for those of you who know my email, email me, let me know what you have. Um, give me a brief summary, just don't just shoot me a video and say, hey, check this out, Robert. Or um, go to my about page on my channel, send me a private message. All right, we can have a conversation. Other than that, take care of people. Enjoy.